Hey everybody, this is Steve Moore, owner of Run More, this fabulous brick and mortar running shop located in Westminster, Maryland. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Ultra Torrent 7. So, first off, if you've been one of those people who have been ride or die with the Torrens over the years, I would like to applaud you and congratulate you and say, you did it. You made it through a bunch of crappy Torrens and you're finally rewarded with a great update. We've been carrying Ultras for nine years now. We've seen all different Torrens come and go and they have taken a really good shoe and made a lot of weird choices with it over the years. They had like an unnecessarily complicated numbering system. At one point, they split off with a Torrent and a Torrent Plush and a Plush 4.5. And then there was the Torrent 5 that had all kinds of issues with the tongue, as everybody knows. And then last year we had Torrent 6 and we were really hoping it would be vastly different from what had been out there on their Torrens, specifically like the fit and the feel and everything that was wrong with the five. It just wasn't that much different. I mean, it was, it was fine, but I think myself, customers I fit, people out there in the, in the YouTube's world, we're hoping for like a really big update to kind of get this shoe back on track. Cause like, at least for us, the Torn was our jam for a long time. When we were slinging ultra shoes back in the day, it seemed like the Torn and the Escalantes, you know, those were leading the charge on road shoes. And it feels like the past couple years as this shoe has gotten older, it kind of got convoluted and lost along the way. Um, and then, and now we have the Torn 7 and you know, we, we get to see shoes like six months, maybe nine months early before they get to launch. And so we saw the entire lineup of Ultra shoes in the fall of 2022. And this was the shoe that we're most excited about from Ultra. And I think because a lot of us that have been with Ultra for a long time have run in so many iterations of the Torrent and have had this sort of, eh, things are kind of going the wrong way with this shoe. And this is a great update. So I, I guess first let's start with what the heck a Torin is. So the Torin 7 is coming out in June of 2023. This is a $150 max cushion neutral shoe. So this is like their workhorse, workhorse long distance high cushion shoe. This has an Ego Max midsole and is a standard fit. So Ultra Shoes have different versions of their foot-shaped toe box. They have like a slim, they have a standard, and they have an OG original fit, which is sort of their widest. This falls right smack in the middle. I will tell you that this is one of only two, soon to be three shoes that comes in a wide option. So both on the men's and women's, there is another option that comes in wide. So if you're standard and you're wide, and on your women's, it will be this lovely blue color. This shoe, from compared to the last ones, has a lot of really good positive changes. And I honestly don't know where to start first, and I think that will probably be with the tongue. If you were at version five specifically, you know this had this like sharp plastic piece up there. One of those, and I heard it from customers, I saw it in the comments of like, how did that get through all these wear testers where nobody said like, what are we doing over here? It was just a, I don't even know how that happened, but it was a very uncomfortable sharp piece that was up on top of the tongue. Version six came along and they put a little felt up here, but still it was it was it was good but not great. So they finally like totally redid it. It's super plush and comfortable. Zero issues whatsoever when you put this shoe on, on as far as the upper goes. Fits and feels great up there. They've added two millimeters of stack height. So like I said, if you're somebody who's come along the way with the Torin, um, and you know at that one point they had a Torin and a Torin plush and the 4.5 and all that nonsense. Um, this kind of, to me, it feels like a plush, except even more plushy. They've added two millimeters of stack height on it. So where we used to be on a 28 millimeter stack height platform, now we're at 30, which quite honestly makes much more logical sense because what has been our most popular shoe with Ultra for a while has been the Paradigm. And the Paradigm is a 30 millimeter stack height shoe. So now you have two shoes that are very comparable with that Ego Max midsole, one neutral, one stable. They fit much more closely because it was kind of confusing when you'd say like, this is a Max Cushion neutral, this is a Max Cushion stability, but they did not seem to be the same whatsoever as far as the cushion underfoot goes. The new Seven, it feels much more plushy. Like it really under your foot feels much better and softer. And because of that Ego Max midsole that's much more bouncy, it feels fantastic when you're going through it. The other thing that I noticed right away is um, it, it has much more depth to it. And that was one of the other things that, you know, bugged me at least on, on the Torin five and six was I felt like I just didn't have enough 
depth in my toe. I, I've got like bunion issue and like I got foot kinds of stuff, which is one of the reasons why I like halters to begin with. But I just didn't feel like I got quite enough, not just width, but just I felt like everything was pushing down on me. This feels much has much more volume to it, um, so it fits my foot much better than than the last couple Torrens. Um, so that's a, a great positive. They widen the heel, so you know it, it doesn't. It, it's kind of hard to see the difference to it, but just slightly. This whole base is just a pinch wider, which makes it feel a little more stable. You know, when we put this shoe on, it's being a neutral shoe. So whatever your sort of inclination is, it's not gonna do any correction to it naturally. You know, it's just gonna kinda let you do what you do. But by just giving a little bit more space and a little bit more ground coverage towards your heel, it does feel like it's giving just a little slight correction to it. Um, not a ton, but just enough that you can kinda feel it underfoot, which, which just makes it feel that much better. So it's like, it's cushy, it's plush, it's wide, it's got volume, the toe doesn't bug you, it feels like a good long distance shoe. It's all the things you would kind of want in a shoe like this. And then on another positive thing, the price hasn't changed. So again, if you've been ride or die with a Torrent, this price has kind of gone all over the place and, and, and sort of one of those one more confusing things. When the Torrent 6 first came out, it was $160 and then like, a couple fortnights later, they dropped it down to 150. So I, I assumed, especially when I saw this guy, that this was gonna go back to that 160 original price on the Torrent 6, but no, it's holding at 150. So if you're looking at other shoes in this max cushion neutral category, I'm not gonna name them, but there's a bunch of shoes that we carry here on our wall. I don't know which way it is, one of these ways. Um, there are shoes in that max cushion neutral category that are 160, 165, 170, you know, and, and by the end of 2023, there's gonna be a bunch of shoes in that category that are, that are getting in that 175 range. So a shoe with 30 millimeters of stack height with this really nice, fun, responsive midsole that you can run real far in at $150, it's a great price point. But I think they kept it at that price point because they're trying to get people to come back and like give us another chance here. And I think those people who have been ride or die with the Torrent are gonna be super pumped for this update. And people that have just been ultra fans that are looking for a shoe to try to transition to, or if you're that person who's been running in the Rivera and you're hoping to step up your game a little bit and try a fall marathon or something, this is gonna be a shoe you should feel really comfortable with. The sizing feels really good. Uh, I've actually been running around with, with a Torrent 6 on one foot and a Torrent 7 on the other foot. And besides, all the other positive stuff, it just feels like I have just a, a little bit more length to it. So, you know, I've, I've kind of been like an 11 and a half to 12 on the Torrents. I think I've 11 and a half is just perfect for me. So you should pretty feel pretty comfortable. This is gonna fit true to size. Um, and again, if you do need that little bit of width option, you have an option in the Torrent 7 to go wider if and you need it. So um, that's it, that's the Torrent 7. This is gonna be a, hopefully an awesome update for everybody out there. I know my staff has been really excited about it. We've all got a chance to kind of pop one on and go for a little run around the shop and all that good stuff to see how it fits and feels. So we're super excited about it. I hope you guys are too. Uh, if you wanted to purchase this fine product, feel free to uh, visit our website. We have a link down below. And if you enter promo code RUNMORE, just one word, R-U-N-M-O-O-R-E, you'll save 10% on this shoe or any new shoe on our website. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. We'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. And uh, if you found this video informative or anything else that you've seen on our site, we appreciate it. Give us a like and subscribe. It really helps us find new people out there. Hey, thanks a lot. Happy running. And for everybody who's training for a big race this spring and summer and fall, good luck out there. Happy running. And I uh, hope to see you around town.